Hi viewers, welcome to the channel and to another video on 3D exercise. Today's video is about designing this 3D model and the part design workbench with a challenging operation, this pocket here. I hope you like this video. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and then go to the video. First, create a new document. Just click on this icon and then change the workbench to part design. And now let's have a look on the model. Now, looking at this model here, our first step in the part design workbench can be creating a simple box using a div box tool, this first option. Let's do that. Go to our document and then go to these tools here, click on this icon and select this first option, a div box. And now to zoom in and our first step here is to select the plane for this box. Let's select XY plane. And then we can set the dimensions of this box here in the primitive parameters. For example, here we'll set 7 and the same value for these all parameters. Okay, now we have this. Just press home in your keyboard. And as you can see, we have this box with these all dimensions. Uh, now let's suppose that we want this box in the region of these all planes here. To change that, we need to scroll down here and go to attachment of set. From these durations, we can set the correct placement of these parts. For example, here in the X duration, we have to set minus 35 millimeters to center this, as you can see, and the same value for these all durations. And now just press home, and as you can see, we have our box in the mid plane. Okay, now just scroll up and click OK. And as you can see, we have our first 3D model in our document. Okay, the next step now is to create this chamfer here. This chamfer, the size is 10 millimeters. We'll create these two chamfers here in the same operation. So let's do that. Go to our document and next select this edge here. And now hold Ctrl and select this edge and then chamfer tool change the size here to 10 millimeters and click ok now and as you can see we have this now and next it's time to create this pocket here so how we can do that we can create a sketch in the mid plane just click here and select exit plane okay and next select external jump tool to extract this edge here now as you can see, we have these two endpoints here, this first point and this last endpoint. Okay, now what do you do? We need to select a line tool and then draw this line here in these two points. And then click here and select this option, endpoints and dream point arc. Now just click here and next in this endpoint and draw this arc. Okay, now we need to set the radius of this arc Let's add 100 for this arc here. Just click here and select constraint radius and then click on this arc and set 100. And we have this as you can see. Now let's close this sketch. And next, using this sketch here, let's create a pocket. Let's select pocket 2 and then change it up to toggle and also set some to plane. And now as you can see, we have this. Let's click OK. And next, what we'll do is to create a polar array of these two operations. I mean the chamfer operation and the pocket operation. So what you need to do first is to select this chamfer operation and now control this pocket operation. And next, you select polar array, polar pattern. And the first thing that we need to do here is to change the axis to y axis, this axis here. Click here and select Y axis and then change the occurrence here to 4 and next click OK. Yes, now we have this and the next thing to do is to create this thickness and this part. To do that, we need to select this face here and then thickness tool. OK, check this option, make thickness inwards and the thickness here should be 1.75 millimeters and OK. Okay, now that we have this thickness, it's time to create this extrusion here. To do that, we can use the same sketch that we use it to create this pocket. 
let's go to this operation this pocket here just click here and select this sketch and what to do with this sketch let's create a copy select this sketch and now copy use original selections and now pass this sketch in this document and drag this sketch into this body and now space bar to make this visible okay as you can see we have this sketch in the mid here go to attachment here and position and we go to the z position here we need to change to minus 35 millimeters and now as you can see we have this we have this sketch here okay and next we can create a, an extrusion of this sketch we need to select pet tool and the length here must be eight millimeters okay and now just click ok and we we'll have this as you can see next here we can create this pocket here and this fillet and then we'll use polaroid to create our pockets and fillets let's do that zoom in here select this face and create a sketch in it and next select external jump tool in the sketch workbench extra this edge here and also this edge and next use polline tool to draw this sketch and then skip two times to leave this sketch and create a pocket the size of this pocket will change to 25 millimeters and okay and now that we have this let's create this fillet select this edge here and now control this edge and select fillet tool and the range here must be 3 and then 2 and as you can see we have this go to the model as you can see we have this pad this pocket and this fillet select these all operations and go to polar pattern and now what to do first is to change the axis to y axis okay and then change the currents to full and as you can see now we have this and click ok now and the next step now is to create this chamfer here what to do rotate this model select this face here and then chamfer tool the size here is two millimeters and enter and we have this okay now that we have these all operations here the next step is to create these pockets here to create this, we'll need to create a sketch first and then use that sketch to create a pocket. Okay, so what do you do? We need to create a sketch. Click here. We need to create this sketch in the YZ plane. Select YZ plane here. And next, you zoom in. And the first thing that we'll do is to draw two cycles. We'll draw two cycles select cycle tool and then draw the cycle in the region point and the second cycle in the region point okay next let's set the diameter of these two cycles just click here and select constraint diameter for this first cycle we'll set 42.5 millimeters and the cycle here let's set 45 millimeters and as you can see we have these let's hide these constraints here and next let's change these cycles to construction geometries select these two cycles and then click on this icon okay next what you'll do is to use slot tool to trace these geometries okay so what you need to do is to select slot tool and then draw five slots okay five slots like so and then hide these all constraints and now skip this comment and next what you do is to make this all arcs of these slots equal so let's select this all and set equal constraint okay and hide these all constraint double click here and next what you do is to make these all lines here vertical so what you need to do is to select these all lines in this way and next use vertical constraint okay and now we have this 
okay now what you do is to constrain these uh, slots here and this circle so we need to use this constraint here click here and this first point here will constrain it on this vertical axis move this okay and next use the same constraint again and constrain this point on this cycle and next use tangent constraint constrain this arc here with this cycle okay next select horizontal distance click here from this center point to the center point will set five millimeters and these two center points here the distance will be five and also these two slots here will set five millimeters and now this point to this point will set 4.45 millimeters and now we have this as you can see next let's hide this all constraint double click here and use this tool here this constraint here and constrain this point to this cycle this point to this cycle this center point to this cycle and now this point in this cycle and we have this and also five degrees of freedom now to full constrain this sketch we'll use symmetrical constraint this tool here and what to do with this tool here just select the center points of each slot and constrain in the horizontal axis And now as you can see we have this sketch full constrained let's select this sketch click here on this icon and next let's create a pocket using this sketch just select pocket tool and change the type to toggle and start symmetrical plane because when this pocket in these two sides and now just click ok okay now the next step is to create a mirror and then a polar pattern of this operation. To do that, you need to use multi transform tool, this tool here. So first you need to go to the model and select the last operation, this pocket, and then multi transform tool. And the first thing that will add here will be a mirror transformation. So here, right click on mouse and select mirror transformation, this option. And as you can see, now we have this, it's full now like on this model and scroll down here and click OK. OK, next what we'll do is to add a polar pattern of this operation. Then click on mouse and select linear source, select polar pattern and next scroll down here. First change the axis to Y axis. We want this operation to happen in the Y axis. OK, and next change the occurrence to and click OK and as you can see now we have these all pockets in these four sides just click OK and this is the final model thank you for watching this video if you find this video useful please leave a like a comment and also share this video with your friends and don't forget to watch another videos of this channel there are many videos of this hard car exercise and also if you want to donate to support the channel there's a link in the description of this video to my coffee page thank you for watching i hope to see you in the next video thank you